let me see if I can share, if you don't mind, Jesse. Okay. Yeah, I think you should be able to. It's not allowing. Oh, there we go. So, um, in terms of my update, I thought we'd talk through the on call engineering, where we're at in terms of our budget, the water turn, uh, improvements projects, uh, where that's at right now with the EQ review and going to bid, some other miscellaneous items, some on-call tasks that we're working on, and then anything else. So um, with our on-call engineering um, tasks, so this is uh, you know mi miscellaneous um, tasks that the district directs us to do, grants, and so on and so forth. Um, I believe we are out of budget on this. Um, Kyle manages this task and has a better idea in terms of what the actual like dollars are, but I know um, I know that we're out. One thing that we have um, on our uh, plate moving forward under this task is the DCIP grant, the Navy grant that we're applying for for nine hundred thousand for the tank rehab. Um, so I don't think this is like a very super urgent item, but needs to be considered and addressed probably via an amendment at a future board meeting. So just heads up. We'll commend um, you guys though, because whoever does the invoicing might have already known that because your guys' last invoice literally spent the budget to the penny. So I was like, somebody's got to know. <laughs> oh yeah, we're probably over on our end, but we just invoiced to that we can't invoice beyond that so um that that's my guess yeah well, kudos to your office but, yeah um so with the water improvements projects so uh good news we did get deq comments back on phase one of the project um yesterday i believe so i forwarded those along to the district this morning and really just the next steps here will probably take the next couple of weeks to get those addressed and sent back to DEQ ASAP. Um, in general, looking at the comments, um, nothing too major. Um, and I, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to just one, one iteration and, and we'll get an approval to go, go out for bid. Um, in terms of the easements, so also good news, those are signed by Fisher and Frederick, so we have easements to run the 12-inch transmission main up the private drive at the new Drumore booster station. Um, this took quite a bit of coordination, so I mean, kudos to everyone that was involved, and, and thanks for helping to push that along. Um, what else? SRF reimbursement issues, I think we're complete on that based on what I know. Um, the Navy Construction Access Agreement. I did discuss this with Glennis Casey of the Navy on Monday or Tuesday this week. She basically said that this is still ongoing. It's going through the necessary Navy review process. It takes time. Um, I think the best guess she could give me is we'd probably get this end of summer, early fall. The good news, or I guess, I don't know if it's good news, but just the um, way that we're bidding this project, and we talked about this at the design review meetings, is that section of the project will be a bid alternate, so we can choose to award it based on funding, based on whether or not we get the access agreement, it just gives some flexibility during construction on when to award that. So if the, if the funding's in place, we get the green light from the Navy, we can write a change order to include that bid alternate and be on our way. Um, so that's where we're at with that. Um, other projects, I think this is probably the most recent thing that we've seen come through uh, in some discussion on this. 
for the SCADA system and some reimbursement on different parts. So the gist of it is, is that um, this needs to be approved by DEQ through a formal contract and requirements process similar to what we're going through with the water improvements. So until we're at the point where we uh, have an approved design and we're moving forward with construction, um, we're, we're kind of stuck on this. And um, I, I don't know if people have questions about that, but yeah. that, that's our understanding and um, kind of where we're at with that. Ben, can I give you some input on that? And that is right now, um, We've been kind of, I don't want to say nickel and diming with a banner system we've had in there for 20 years. It seems like they don't handle the foliage growth or people growth in here in the area. The 900 megahertz spectrum tends to get interrupted. But the point is, right now, since our last repair, we've actually been holding up pretty good with it. But if something goes on that to where we're in trouble and they don't have parts, then suddenly we're forced into a situation with this new SCADA system. So in terms of timing, I would like to see that push through sooner than later because there's also probably a four to six week lead time on any parts for a new system with you know, supply yep. chain issues. So if we can start moving on that now for the approval process so that we're ready and not be stuck somewhere where we're like, uh oh, we're in deep trouble because we, are, we can't communicate anymore between our well pumps and the reservoirs and things like that. Yep. Um, the fastest way to go about this, mm -hmm. um, one, I mean, the the very fastest would be to use non-SRF funds, which I'm guessing you don't want to do. Right. And the second fastest would probably be to incorporate it with phase one of the project, which will be, you know, hopefully be being bid in, in July and ongoing. So if you're able to push this for a few months, Bob, that would be ideal, um, in our opinion. Yeah. But, but I. Is that fast? Yeah, yeah. So so far, I'd like yeah, I'd like to do it sooner than later. So yeah, let's let's go for that. Let's see what we can do. Uh, so far, we've been able to make repairs that come up, and we have not had anything now for at least a month. Any issues since they put the last larger antenna up to get past the foliage? So that's good. Um, okay. And I'm, what I want to make sure is it continues that way, and that we don't have our our board members or customers discover we think we were out of water because we couldn't act fast enough. So that's you know, yep. I want to make sure. So. Because it's easier when there's a problem with the reservoir of the SCADA system in the wintertime when there's not much usage. My concern is how fast can we move in the summer when we're using 10 times the water. So. Yeah. Anyway, so okay, yeah. well, if we need to do anything else on this, let's, I mean, 